Good morning, guys. It's about quarter of eight on Friday. Uh, I'm gonna spend a weekend with my family, so I took Friday and Monday off to get some mowing done. Um, but I just got my trailer back. I got a surprise for you guys. Boom. Got it all lettered up. Um, guys, remember, this is this is my first year, so um, I'll show, splice in a picture of my first trailer mower setup that I had. Um, which is the little trailer you guys seen out back. Um, like I said, this is this is my first year. Got it lettered up, trying to put myself out there, you know, with people not really wanting to um, go around and see each other due to COVID. Everyone wants to keep their distance, so made it big enough i got a 16 foot rolling billboard now um i just went something real just simple um i didn't i could have gone with a full wrap that i really liked but couldn't justify the price of it so um yape stripes did that they did it in a day i dropped it off i think it was sunday night they got it done tuesday in the afternoon for me i picked it up wednesday um they did a great job they really did super clean um you know, got my website on there commercial residential i didn't want the laundry list of services that i provide because my website says that so if you want to know more about me go to my website or call me you know start that conversation you don't want them just saying oh i don't do any of that no big deal make them want to look more into it so like i said just real simple um you know now that the logo's on there can't cut people off gotta drive safer is what it is but like I said, um, first year, this is my setup here. Um, I have reinvested just about every penny I've made. And some people might say that's stupid. That's the whole point of starting a whole new business is to um, move forward, you know, make some money and make your life better. Well, I am really trying hard to push things to set them up for bigger and better things. So I do have a, a Monday through Friday job. I work about 50 to 55 hours a week there. Uh, and I do this on the weekends or like today, I take the day off and I go mow so I can spend the weekend with my family. So, I mean, I do have a job that's flexible to do that, but I really want to like drive home that if you want to do this full time and you have options, you have a full time job that pays your bills, invest reinvest in your company it's never going to go anywhere if you just take it and use it as a bank just take that money i mean my mulch job stuff like that that is all you know extra money so i do take that and that goes into the bank you know my business account does have a savings on it as well so i can get myself put in that that position to continue doing this full time um, hopefully next year i'm honestly even trying to set things up for the winter season so i can go plowing full time um, and set myself up to continue into next year and continue doing this full time. So we'll see. Uh, like I said, it, it's it's kind of a game of chess. I was never really good at chess, but you know, if you if you can put your mind to it, you can really do anything uh, that you really want to do. So um, that's where I'm at right now. I'm still watching videos, taking advice from a lot of guys that have been in the business a lot longer than me. Um, but I mean, this weekend I picked or this week I picked up this trailer after work, and I headed over to a job or to a quote. Um, in my town in a very small subdivision, which is exactly what I'm trying to do because subdivisions are awesome. Your neighbor sees it. Oh, let's do this. And plus, it also gets me off the main road too, so I don't have to worry about dodging cars. Um, but the, uh, I ended up selling the job. I pulled up out front. He didn't need to question who I was. He knew exactly why. There was a guy with a trailer sitting out in front of his house. He came out, we walked it. I did sell it. There's some more things he would like me to do if I can get licensing and stuff like that for uh, fertilizer and stuff like that. So I'm starting to look into that as well to see if it's uh, worth me looking into um, so I can service this customer on all fields because he doesn't want to deal with the corporate true green and stuff like that. He'd rather deal with the local guy and deal with one guy. Um, so I just sent out a contract to him. They're going to sign it hopefully here in the next day or two. Um, and I will have them, uh, I will start with them on Monday. Um, and I did, instead of doing a mow a weekly mow rate um, they wanted a couple more things done um, you know obviously they wanted some edging done so sidewalks looked nice and crisp uh, that was an upsell actually because they didn't 
they wanted it trimmed, but they didn't want, they didn't know about edging. So I offered it. Uh, they liked that idea. And then they said that the garden beds, they'd like to have weeded every now and again too. So I sold them on a subscription based monthly plan. Now granted, there's probably only two months left in our season, um, but I did sell it to them, did write up a contract. So, hey, you pay this amount um, each month. And I'll be honest with you guys, it's, it's 200 bucks a month. Um, they have just under three quarters of an acre. Um, it's a pretty easy corner lot, very little to even really edge because there's not a whole lot of sidewalk in that little uh, development there. Um, but it's right near a main road and there's no way when I park in front of their house, you can't see this from the main road. So hopefully that'll bring some more, more customers in. Um, yeah, I'll get some modeling footage for you guys here today. And then, uh, well, well, it's almost eight o'clock. I gotta get to the first yard. Let's get going guys. Hope you're out there making money. Enjoy the footage.